Hi guys. A while back, my friend who works in a movie theater gave me this old uh, cappuccino machine, and it's been sitting outside for a while. I've been waiting to take it apart. I finally got around to it, and I noticed it has this perfect uh, tank in it that would be this would be perfect for the uh, liquid air accumulator in the uh, air liquefier. So let's uh, take this thing apart and get the tank out. I'm thinking it's a bit long, if we just cut it in half, it'll be just about the right size. But I'll may as well try running this, see if we can produce some uh, steam before fully taking it apart. I really couldn't have asked for a tank more perfect than this. And there's connections, bolt-on uh, end uh, access connections on either uh, side. There's uh, lots of ports. Uh, yeah, let's make a couple of cuts down this tank and weld it together to make it a bit smaller. It'll be a perfect liquid nitrogen tank. Uh, what else do we have on this thing? These actual coffee production things. The, put the uh, sort of little unit in here with the coffee in it, and this you lock it in, and then when the enough water's gone through, it pushes it up and releases it. Um, let's see if we can put some water in this and fire it up and get some uh, steam going. Okay, it's all wired up now. Let's uh, give this thing a shot. And okay, that seems to be working. About 30 amps, just like the uh, readings panel says in there. Better turn it off. I have to check that the water level is high enough to cover the heating element. Um, let's just unscrew the um, pressure relief and take a look inside the tank. Okay, you can just see the water line on the heating element in there, so I think I'm going to add a bit more water. And then we can start, start heating it. Over here the uh, fill indicator is not very high. Let's see if this works. going up. Hopefully that should be enough now. Need to leave some room for the uh, expansion and the steam. Okay, now we can turn on the power. I think I'll just leave the top open for now so it can freely boil. Okay, let's see. I'll wait for, let's wait a while and see how well this heats up. And the tank's already quite warm after just a couple of minutes, so that 6,000 watt heater really heats this quickly. You might be able to see a bit of bubbling. Uh, probably not. Okay, about four or five minutes now. It's starting to drip water out the front, and you can definitely hear the boiling. Or heating at least. And that is probably 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. More dripping and coming up to a better boil now. So put the pressure relief back in. There's some steam coming out. And now it's coming up to a pretty much approaching a full boil. And we're really getting some water out of these now. There's water dripping from all over the place. That's probably why they threw this thing out. Oh, look at all this. I right, better shut this off. Oh, there. It... <laughs> Let's turn it back on again. <laughs> Let's put the pressure relief in, then we can, uh, or the, I should think it was not a vacuum relief in this one, then we can build up some pressure and get some steam out of this thing. Okay, ready for pressurizing, pressurization. Let's get this water out of there. 
Okay, starting to build up pressure now. This gauge should move. We should. Nothing yet. Right, there we go. Hot water. And there we go. Leaking seems to have stopped. Just shut off the heater for now. Still no pressure is showing. You don't really have to worry about overpressurizing it because there's a nice relief valve. I think that one's rated uh, 1.65 kilograms per square centimeter. Turn it back on. <laughs> These are probably hot water. Oh yeah. No pressure indicated yet. Oh wait, there, there's the pressure. Must be the one on the right. Looks like it's going a bit high. Let's shut this down for now. Right above the green, right past the green indicator, although it was past it earlier, so the gauge may be broken. Seems there could be a bit more steam than that. do anything. Don't seem to cause any anything to be released. Pressure relief is starting to belch a little well not quite, just releasing a little bit, so I'm wondering if the temperature control is or pressure control is not working on this. Now we're getting more pressure out of those. Still nothing out of these things. Okay, I think the uh, pressure switch just kicked in because the it's set to on and the heating elements are off right now. So I think it's at normal operating conditions now. And the heater's back on after that. Let's see if it turns off soon. Yep, there we go. Still pretty good, pretty well full. Let's see if we can steam clean that really horribly dirty microwave from uh, that previous video where I fixed a bunch of microwave ovens. Got the hose connected up. Let's see if we can steam it. Doing too much. Probably have to wipe it off with something. Okay, this actually doesn't seem to work too badly.
happens to get sort of the bulk of it off. I don't know if it'll get all of it though. Okay, that's somewhat cleaner now. Although it didn't clean the inside fully, it seemed that stuff down there is just really stuck. But a lot did come out into the bin. I think that's enough of the steam for now. Let's uh, release all the steam and then we can uh, get on with the air liquefier. Uh, I, I found some tubing. I have this 4.4 meter section uh, of tube, but I have another one outside, 6.5 meters left over from the uh, removing the old air conditioner. So that and this and another 5 meters will be enough. Okay, that's off. Yeah, that's off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching.